Hi. So in this lesson, we are going to use the alternating thumb roll, the mixed roll pattern, which hopefully you've um, got down now with plenty of practice, um, together with the chord shapes that we learnt in the last shape, the chord shapes of C, which is your first finger on the um, B string, the second string on the first fret, your second finger on the D string, the top D string on the second fret, and your third finger on the bottom D string on the second fret. Remember, keep your fingers nice and close behind the fret. That's your C. And we're going to use a D, which is the uh, first finger still on the B string, first fret, and the second finger on the G string on the second fret this time. Yeah. Like that. And the open G chord to play a pattern. So we're going to practice making these chord shapes at the same time as we play the alternating the alternating um, roll, the alternating thumb roll. That's the word I want. So the alternating thumb roll, remember you're playing the middle string with your thumb, the string immediately below it, the second string with your index finger, then the drone with your thumb, then the bottom string with your middle finger. It's called the alternating, so it sounds like this. Thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb. And what we're going to do is we're going to play a bar uh, of open G, then a bar of C, a bar of the D7, and then another bar of G. And each bar is going to consist of eight notes, which is effectively the alternating thumb roll twice. So like this, the one bar is two and three, four and four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's one bar, yeah? One and two and three and four and one bar. It's going to sound like this, a bar G. C. D. Back to G. And you're back at the start. So remember when you go between C and D, you don't need to take your first finger off. That stays in the same place on fret one of the second string, the B string. You just take the other finger off, bring that finger down to the third string. So again, G, ready with a C. D7. try and run that together. So you're going to have G, C, D7, G, and then another bar of G. Then, So you're going to have G back to back with another bar of G in between. It's going to sound like this. C. to do is to anticipate what you're going to put down so you know you've got a C coming start to have your fingers ready in the sort of shape where you can pop it down on the frets and it'll only come with practice getting these chord shapes but they will get easier so as you get better at it you can gradually speed up that 